团大中华区总裁兼首席执行官高乐先生。Please welcome the President and CEO of BMW Group Region China, Yuhan Gaola. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrating the first world premiere of today, the all-new BMW i7 M70. Progressive luxury meets high-performance electro-mobility. The i7 M70 is the perfect centerpiece of our booth here in Shanghai, which for the very first time at any international motor show is featuring only electric vehicles during the press day. Our message could not be more clear. BMW is going full power on electric. This year alone, we are offering our Chinese customers the choice of 11 fully electric models across our brands, BMW, Mini, and Rolls-Royce. Each one brand distinctive and technologically outstanding. The BMW i7 M70 is our most powerful all-electric model ever. Beyond sheer performance, this model also features a new generation iDrive, an enhanced intelligent personal assistant called IPA, and of course, the pioneering BMW theater screen. Ladies and gentlemen, the i7 M70 is our most luxurious BMW featuring the best of I and the best of M. It is the ultimate combination of thrilling electric performance and digital tech magic. Now, moving on from our most powerful BEV to our latest local electric model. Dear BMW friends, I proudly present the first ever iX1, one of China's most popular premium SAVs, is now fully electric. The wheelbase of this all-new model is extended to 2.8 meter, exclusive to the Chinese market, and carries the striking BMW X signature styling. The new iX1 is cool, spacious, and emission-free. And what truly sets the iX1 apart is BMW digital tech magic. This is the first BMW equipped with our all-new operating system 9. The combination of an intuitive UI UX design and the fast responding IPA makes the user experience of our iX1 natural and effortless from the very first interaction. Ladies and gentlemen, the iX1 will soon become the third BMW BEV model starting production at our BMW i factory plants in Shenyang. And we will of course not stop there, but expand our offer of compelling fully electric models into all our core segments. As we shape today, we reimagine tomorrow. The future of mobility will be electric, circular, and digital. Our transformation at BMW is taking place along these topics. Across all our brands, BMW, Mini, Rolls-Royce, and BMW Motorrad. Our urban brand, Mini, will be fully electric by the early 2030s. And next year, Three new electric models will be coming onto global markets, and they all belong to the completely new Mini family. Today, I have brought with me a spectacular concept car, the Mini Aceman. The Mini Aceman is the first Mini crossover model for the premium small car segment, complete with the new digital interior space experience. The Mini Concept Aceman represents the charismatic simplicity, Mini design language of the future. Digital personalization and individualization 
open up completely new ways of interaction between the vehicle and the driver. The Aceman will bridge the space between the Mini Cooper and the Mini Countryman in the model family's future. Our luxury brand, Rolls-Royce, will also be electric from the start of the next decade. And this fall, the brand will launch its first all-electric model, the Spectre, which is being released at exactly the right time. And we've never had so many pre-orders for a new Rolls-Royce model before. And ladies and gentlemen, this year, BMW Motorrad is celebrating its 100th anniversary. And the brand continues to find new ways to excite fans, both new and old. In urban settings, BMW Motorrad is expanding its electric offering. Following on from the success of the C004, we presented the CE02 concept. The all-electric CE02 is mainly designed to appeal to young people living in the city. And the response has been truly tremendous. Fans can look forward to the serious version of the CE02 which we will present in July. For our core brand BMW, Jochen Goller has just shown you two incredible products, the i7 M70 and the iX1. And now later this year, we will also be releasing the latest version of the world's most successful business sedan, the BMW 5 Series, including the first all-electric i5. And of course, a long wheelbase version of the i5 will be produced locally here in China starting already next year. And then in 2025, we will shift into an even higher gear. That is when we will launch our all-new BMW model generation. We call it Neue Klasse. And it will bring added momentum to sales of our all-electric vehicles. We intend to release at least six models onto the market within 24 months of the start of production. We are starting in high-volume segments with a sports activity vehicle and a sedan in the three-series segment. The Neue Klasse embodies all three pillars of future mobility, digitalization, sustainability, and of course, fully electric. On the road to Neue Klasse, we revealed our digital vehicle of the future in January at the CES in Las Vegas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to show you our latest vision car here on stage at the Auto Shanghai 2023. Hello, it's so nice to meet you again. Ni hao di. Would you please mind to switch to English, please? Of course, Oliver. I'm a companion for all of our customers all over the world. 当然,吉普策先生,我是全球宝马车主的伙伴,熟悉各种语言。Incredible. I'm glad you made it to be the journey to Shanghai. Our fans here have been waiting to meet you. D caused quite a sensation after its reveal, and particularly here in China, where our customers prioritize digital functions and connectivity in their cars more than in any other country. There are already a lot of features in our cars that are inspired by China. This includes, for example, the rear entertainment system in the BMW i7. In a nutshell, what moves Chinese customers today will move the world tomorrow. And D is a perfect example because input from China was also decisive in the development of our vision car. D 
stands for Digital Emotional Experience. It is our vision of pushing the boundaries between the physical and the digital perception. Because digital leadership in the car is not about who has the biggest screen, the highest processing power, or even who writes the most lines of code. No, the only thing that really counts is what the user feels and experiences. And our D gives you a first glimpse at how a car becomes a real companion. And thanks to e-ink technology, D can also change its body color. Just as we choose to a new outfit to wear each day, you can change the color of your car to reflect your mood each day. D embodies the next level of human-machine interaction and will, of course, inspire our neue Klasse. And I can assure you, the tech is ready. Just take D's head-up display, a technology we have integrated into our vehicles for over 20 years. And D has taken it to a whole new level. In 2025, and that is just two years away, a standard production version of this technology will be used in the Neue Klasse. We call it BMW Panoramic Vision. But for now, I will let Dee show you what else this car can do. Thank you, Oliver. And now, I'd like you to meet my maker. Hello, Frank. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Transforming the car into a portal to the virtual universe. This is the idea behind D. Making vision cars is really exciting, but our true goal is to bring our vision to life, step by step. By inventing leading edge technologies and creating unique and fascinating products. Take the all new BMW Panoramic Vision, our industry leading head up display on the next level, coming straight from D. It will be a fundamental new element of our future human machine interaction system. And we've got a lot more to come this year. Creating, high, uh, creating highly customized Chinese technologies for the high demands of our Chinese customers developed in China by our Chinese employees. This is the core of our technology strategy. First, I'd like to show you what you can expect from us already today. This year, we will launch the all-new BMW Operating System 9. This powerful operating system will be a real Chinese product with one of the best WeChat integrations in the industry. A user interface exclusively designed for our Chinese customers, including a highly improved intelligent personal assistant. And an all-new online navigation system that is designed and developed in China to fit perfectly to the high demands of our Chinese customers. In operating system 8, around 30% of all functions were China-specific. In operating system 9, it will be almost 70%. Our ambition is sky high. We want to be the best in China. And one thing is for sure, what works in China works all over the world. Take the festive mode, original development in China, now available in many other markets. Our intelligent personal assistant with all new emotions will be rolled out worldwide. And the new quick select functionality that allows you to directly select entertainment programs, contact lists, or car settings with only one touch clearly bears the signature of our Chinese R&D. This leads me to my second point. 
What can you expect from us in the future? With the Neue Klasse, we will write not only a new chapter, we will write a completely new book. More than 20% improvement in energy density, 30% in charging speed, and 30% in electric range. For super brains to enter a new dimension of digital performance and user experience. Enabling us to create truly intelligent connected vehicles with advanced driver assistance systems covering all requirements of the Chinese market. And we remain the most sustainable automotive manufacturer. Our battery cells will have a high proportion of secondary material, giving us a 60% CO2 reduction in the cell production. And of course, the Neue Klasse models we will launch in China will be designed in key areas by BMW Design Shanghai. This brings me to my final point. China is the place to be. What superpower makes you a great developer? It's the ability to look around the corners. But this is not enough to be successful in China. You need to be where the big things happen. You need to team up with the fastest and smartest brains. Munich is where we come from, but China is where we are at home, with our largest research and development network outside of Germany and the fastest growing organization within BMW. Within three years, we have tripled our R&D forces here in China. Today, more than 3,200 designers, engineers, NEF and software specialists are creating leading-edge innovations, closely collaborating with Chinese tech players and local partners. Since November, I have merged all our development functions in China into one R&D organization, bringing together what belongs together under one single roof. A lot more impact of our R&D here in China, and a lot more China in our worldwide R&D organization. And I'm really looking forward to opening our new R&D powerhouse here in Shanghai later this year. Thank you for joining us here today on Auto Shanghai 2023. Have a good show.